Welcome to the channel guys, this video is for college and sixth form students studying level 3 BTEC IT. In this video we're going to talk about the different threats to data, information and systems. There's a chance you might get asked questions about threats to data in your unit 1 IT systems exam. So in the video we're going to talk about the different methods that hackers might use to change or manipulate data. Towards the end of the video we'll go over an example question you might be asked in your exam. I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you want to skip to that part of the video. The first threat to information and systems we're going to talk about is malware. So malware is any form of malicious software which is designed to cause harm or exploit devices and systems. So hackers might use these types of software to delete your files, alter them or even steal any data. Some examples of malware could be viruses, worms, trojans and even spyware. The next type of threat to data and IT systems we're going to talk about are hackers. Hackers can cause issues for both individuals and businesses and they do this by exploiting weaknesses in systems to gain unauthorized access to your information and data. Now hackers might do this to steal, alter or destroy any files on your system. Now there are different types of hackers and we'll go over it in more detail in a different video. But for now I'll leave a picture on the screen just so you can see the different reasons why people might hack into systems. The next threat to data and systems we're going to talk about is phishing emails and scams. You might have already seen these emails which are usually used by scammers to retrieve information. So they'll send you an email as a large company like a bank and they'll ask you to log into your bank which will give them information such as your credit card info or your login details to your bank. Now you can see how this can be a threat to data and the customer's information and money. The last threat to data and systems we're going to talk about is accidental damage. This can quickly become a threat because individuals and employees can accidentally delete files or damage the device that the information is on. There isn't too much you can say about accidental damage because there is no purpose in mind. For example, on the screen you can see how even spilling a drink can cause an individual or business to lose their data by destroying the device. In your exam, you'll most likely be asked about the impacts that these threats have on individuals and businesses. So here we'll just quickly go over the different impacts and how they might impact individuals and businesses differently. When it comes to the individual impacts that threats to data can have, the most common one is fraud. So this can be identity fraud, where hackers might use a person's information to get loans, open banks, or take out phone contracts under the user's name. Another impact on individuals you can talk about is bank fraud. This is where hackers might use a user's personal information to gain access to their bank and steal money to purchase items. However, when it comes to the impacts on businesses and organisations, they can be a lot bigger. For example, the first impact we're going to talk about is the loss of reputation. So let's say there's a company that has financial information about their customers and they manage to get hacked. You can see how existing customers and potential customers will lose confidence in the company or brand. Now this links with the second impact we're going to talk about which is the loss of income. If existing customers and potential customers lose confidence in the brand, then they're less likely to choose them as a company to manage their financial information. So they lose income because there are no new customers and their existing customers are leaving because they don't trust them. In this section of the video we're going to go over an example question that you might get on your Unit 1 IT Systems exam. So the question tells us about a finance company which provides investment advice and financial management services. And because the company manages financial information using IT systems, they're concerned about threats to data and their systems. So the question is asking us to analyse the impact that threats to data can have on the company. So anytime a question comes up on your exam asking you to analyse the impacts, you need to know that that question is at least 10 marks. So you will be expected to write more. The first threat to data I'll talk about is malware. And you need to mention how malicious software can impact the business. In your exam, don't just say the word malware, but give an example like I have in the answer. So you can see how I've talked about how hackers might use spyware to retrieve information and data about customers. Now the information that they've stolen can be used to steal money or even ask for a ransom from the company. Now because the question is asking us to analyse the impacts, we need to talk about how this might affect the company. For example, let's say that the hacker threatens to expose this information unless the company gives the hacker some money. Then you can see how the company would be in a difficult position. Now you need to talk about how the hacker might ask for a ransom publicly. 
which will put pressure on the company to get the information back and pay the ransom. So either way, the company will gain a bad reputation and they could possibly lose a lot of money. In my second paragraph, you can see how I've talked about phishing as a possible threat to data. Now, this type of threat is very similar to malware because the hacker is using it to retrieve information which can be dangerous to the company. So one of the ways that hackers use phishing emails to retrieve information is by making them look like they've been sent from a trusted company. So let's say one of the employees from the company receives an email from their bank and they're asked to sign in because they've had an issue with their money. Then you can see how this could be a possible threat to data because the employee might give up information about themselves or about the company. So because the question is asking us to analyse the impacts on the business, we need to mention how the hacker might use the information to steal money from the individual or from the company itself. Another way that the hacker could impact the business is through threatening to expose the information about the customer. Now this can be bad for the company because they'll gain a bad reputation and potential customers will reconsider choosing them as a financial company as well as their existing customers possibly choosing to leave them because they no longer have trust in the company. So this will result in the company losing income because they're losing possible customers and existing customers.